Hello friends, in today's video lab, we are going to see how to join a Windows 10 PC to Windows Server 2016 Active Domain. To join a client computer to a domain, you must first ensure you have a sufficient information and resources like you must have a computer running on Windows 10 Pro Enterprise or Education Editions. You must know the name of your domain, valid IP configuration and connectivity with your domain controller must be there. Make sure your DNS settings are pointing to the correct DNS server for the domain. You have to have access to a domain account that is part of the domain. And last but not least, your domain's domain functional level must be Windows Server 2003 or higher version. So for this demonstration, this is our domain controller named labdc01 and the name of our domain is mprtv.lab. The IP address of our domain controller is 192.168.1.201. Let's go back on our client computer. If you see the uh, system property of our client computer, as you can see, we have a Windows 10 Enterprise Evolution Edition. So we can join this computer to our domain. So first of all, we are going to set the network connectivity to our domain controller. Let's click on our network connections and already I assigned the IP address to this Windows 10 client computer. As you can see, the IP address is 192.168.1.221 and the DNS server is 192.168.1.201. Let's check the ping to our DNS server. As you are seeing, we are receiving a replay from our DNS server and let's check NSLOOKUP as well. And as you can see, our DNS server is also responding. Let's close this command prompt. Let's click on OK, let's click on Close and let's close this console. Now let's click on Start button, click on Settings, click on System, click on About and click on Join the Domain. Let's specify the name of our domain. In our case, the name is mprtv.lab. Now you have to specify the domain account to verify you have a permission to join this Windows 10 computer to our Active Directory domain. Let's specify the credential of our administrator and then click on OK. It will ask you to add a local account on this computer. But let's skip these steps. And as you can see, after you restart, your PC will be joined to this domain name mprtv.lab. Let's click on Restart now to restart this Windows 10 computer. Now let's come back on our Active Directory. Let's create a one user account. Let's specify the username, user1. Let's specify the password. Let's clear the checkbox. User must change password at next logon. Click on next and click on finish. Once our Windows 10 system restart, we'll log in on our Windows 10 system with this user name, user1. Let's log in with uh, our user name, user1, which we created earlier on our two main controller. The first time, this will take some time to set up user profile. Once the user profile creation completes, you are logged into your Windows 10 computer. Our user has been successfully logged into our Windows 10 computer. If you see, we are currently logged in with our user 1. Let's click on our settings. Let's click on our system. Let's click on about. And as you can see, now you will notice that once you are connected to the domain, your about settings no longer list options that were presented before. This is because your computer is centrally managed by the domain controller. So this is the way how you can join Windows 10 computer to Windows Server 2016 Active Directory domain. 